Angie Postacoglu, is hoping Celtic can give the Celtic fans a memorable night in the Bernabeu. The Hoops conclude their Champions League campaign with a historic match away to 14-time champions Real Madrid tonight. They will have to do it without Cameron Carter-Vickers, but Karl Starfelt is back in the team tonight. Postacoglu has confirmed that Cameron Carter-Vickers will be absent for their clash with the La Liga side away from home this evening. Despite picking up just two points from their previous five matches and being without key duo Callum McGregor and Cameron Carter-Vickers through injury, Postacoglu is determined to see his side reward the travelling fans by doing themselves justice at the home of the European champions. Our supporters have been outstanding this whole campaign, he said. They've supported us home and away. Everyone talks about the atmosphere at Celtic Park on European nights, but our support away from home in Europe is something we're really proud of as well. Everyone at the club has really been looking forward to this game. There's history between Celtic and Real. Alfredo, Di Stefano's testimonial was between the two clubs and we haven't played since then so we're very proud to be here at the Bernabeu playing against one of the world's greatest teams. Hopefully it will be memorable for everyone including our supporters. Asked what he has learnt from the Champions League campaign, Postacoglu said, nothing I didn't know. It's tough competition. It's relentless and unforgiving but we knew that going into it. The key for us was measuring where we are within that. You can go in and fight for your survival and fear the consequences, or you can be brave and try to really test yourselves, and I think that's what we've done. Going on about the game tonight, it's one of the iconic stadiums in the world and hopefully, we give our fans something to be proud of," Postacoglu said. The fans have been outstanding this whole campaign and they have supported us home and away. When asked about Celtic player contracts and transfers Big Angie went on to say, the club always does the right thing with players and they'll get looked after. In terms of individuals, I'm not going to talk about their situations. They get their rewards with their performances. Those kinds of things, as I keep saying, they take care of themselves. They don't need to worry about that side of it. This football club looks after players. It has historically. Not just in terms of contracts, but in providing a platform. There are many football clubs you can play for and earn a lot more money, but you won't be playing at the Bernabeu against Real Madrid. Postacoglu revealed that Karl Starfelt, who has been sidelined since the 4-0 win over Rangers at Parkhead back in September, could come back into the Celtic starting lineup against Real tonight in the absence of Carter Vickers. He, Carter Vickers, should be right for the weekend, he said. He's just come back from a knee injury and he's just got a bit of soreness. He's one of the few who has played every game, so we've got to be conscious of that and with the short turnaround we felt it was best we left him at home for this one. Asked if he felt the artificial Armand Vale pitch was responsible for the injury, Postacoglu said, it didn't help. I mean, a few of the boys to be fair were pretty sore afterward. It's just not a great pitch for that but the others have rebounded well. Anyways the upside we aren't the worst team in the Champions League. Former Celtic star Mousa Dembele has taken a cheeky swipe at Sefco after they finished the Champions League group stage campaign without a single point. He took to Twitter and said, After all, it was the first ever Champions League campaign in their history. Well done to them, hashtag since 2012. On that note, have a great day, Celtic fans all around the world. Lit. Roll up to the